Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? It's Tyler here, or Ian's Rock 50, and welcome back to the Bloons TV Battles Tournament. Here we are once again, we're up against Mo Money, and yes, this is for round two. So with round two comes a couple changes. First of all, uh, first map is Volcano. So, uh, yeah, that should be interesting. I do not know what the heck I'm doing on that map at all. You'll see shortly, whatever. Um, also, and I guess the other change is that, you know, new opponents or whatever, these are the people that won their previous bracket, so we will be up against some pretty decent opponents here. Let's, uh, see how this goes. And, you know, just start off with the bomb, because I'm like, okay, I've absolutely zero idea how to do this map. Let's just go with that normal ring of fire strategy that everyone does, because it's so easy to, you know, just, you know, pick up and just do whatever. I mean, it involves, like, no micro at all. You know, not too much skill or anything. It's just getting one or two ring of fires and a couple maulers. It's really about it. Um, yeah, and, you know, it should be pretty easy to do. Like, you know, positioning shouldn't matter too much. Maybe on this map, though. This is a weird, weird map. And also, I'm getting a boat, so actually... Okay, I guess this isn't exactly the traditional Ring of Fire strategy. I'm getting a random boat on round two. This shows how much I know about this map, which is obviously quite a bit. Obviously. I don't know. The reason why I brought the boat is because I'm thinking, well, you know, it's kind of a short map. Maybe it's hard to get economy on it, so I could use the uh, Moab takedown ability. Right? 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 Well, here's the problem. Ring of Fire, I, I want to say it is pretty overpowered. I know a lot of you aren't going to agree with me, but, you know, that that's fine, but I'll kind of explain why. First of all, like, you know, one Ring of Fire, it's super duper cheap. Like, it's not only cheaper, but more effective than a 2-3 and a 3-0 Boom Ranger. But yet, it can stop, you know, pretty much everything up to round 13, you know, except for camos. Also, small Reaver Rainbow Rushes is good against, um, come, like, ceramics and stuff, they'll need more. Also, my Ring of Fire... Or my texture spot kind of sucks. <laughs> Again, I still have no idea what I'm doing. I'm losing lives and stuff. Uh, it's just actually pretty funny to be watching here. It's pretty pathetic. I feel like I'm going to lose this one. I don't know. But um, where I was going with, it can pretty much get you set like all the way up until like late Moab rounds and that kind of stuff. And sure, once BFBs come, you know, two or, you know, technically four Ring of Fires will take out, you know, multiple BFBs and their children. Maybe two of them or so. You know, then round 20 you're set. But really, with the Ring of Fire, like, the thing is, it's not only the most powerful tower, but it's also ridiculously cheap. It's, like, so cheap that on Temple, you're able to afford a Ground Zero by round 18. Or in my case, a Spectre, which is even more expensive than the Ground Zero. So, I mean, yes, the Ring of Fire is overpowered. Even though it gets overrun, by the time you're able to overrun the Ring of Fire, your opponent's going to be able to afford Ground Zero, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, and the, and honestly, the reason why I find that, you know, you know, more appalling than the Boomer Bomb strategy, one, is because Boomer Bomb costs a bit more, and it's a bit more inconsistent. You know, I mean, it's, it has pretty decent consistency, but it's nowhere close to perfect. So, I mean, you know, those are the setbacks of it, but, you know, strategies need to be balanced. They need to have some kind of weakness to it that the player can exploit, whether through skill or through some kind of scent or something. Uh, balloon send or whatever and ring of fire really doesn't have that also it's just a low amount of towers like there's gonna be no variety to that at all once you know you get to like round eight or something which i don't even know if i do i completely forget what i do during this game maybe i keep the bomb but i don't think that's too good an idea to be honest mo's just sitting here with that single ring of fire he's doing a lot better holding off all those regrow whites and yells i can't do anything to him no matter how hard i try it's just kind of ridiculous but he just builds a ring of fire, builds another ring of fire, a couple tax sprayers, I guess, ignoring camel detection. I mean, camel detection, it's standard for all strategies. You need it one way or another. But then, you know, just keep building ring of fires. And really, I mean, two, well, the two ring of fires and a couple tax sprayers, you're good for round 18. Then, like, four ring of fires, you're good for round 20. After that, it's ground zero city. Yeah, because you're going to have so much economy that, you know, you can afford whatever. And by the way, my economy totally sucks monkey balls here. Just because, one, I don't know what I'm doing. Two, I'm going village. Yay, village. Uh, <laughs> crap. And he's going for regrow leads. Also, you know, ring of fire. I mean, that does excellent gets regrow leads. This, not so much. And look, his defense is cheaper than mine. 
but yet he has absolutely no weaknesses and I have like plenty. That's the problem with that tower. You know, it's not fun when a tower has zero weakness. When it has, you know, no weakness, it needs to have some sort of inconsistency. Like at this one, I'm like, okay, screw this. I need to get the ring of fire now, otherwise I'm screwed. Finally, we got it a little bit late though. So we're down to 59 lives. Aren't I just doing fantastic at this game, aren't I? You know, I might even suck to a regrow rainbow rush too, because think about it. The uh, three zero can is just gonna multiply the uh, regrow rainbows, and maybe you know, ring of fire can hold off a normal rainbow rush, but when the cannon multiplies them, it might not do as well. Yeah, I guess it's best to have the cannon in the back, but it doesn't seem like he's realizing that, so you know, I'll just be, be uh, all merry and whatever. You know, if, th if things get bad, I'll get a, um, wait, Maelstrom, oh, and he did try that, actually. Um, okay, yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, but he actually did send Regal Rainbow, it's just hard to see with all that volcanic mist or whatever. Ooh, volcanic mist, but yeah, he tried sending Regal Rainbow, he had exactly what I had in mind. Okay, I guess, you know, surprisingly, held off. And look at me, trying to send Regal Ceramics, nope, second ring of fire. Whoop the freaking do! Don't you just love that strategy, guys? The exact same strategy on every single map. I mean, that's the issue with it. It'll work on any map that you can get a ring of fire close to the track. Even if it's like all straight, ring of fire is still gonna be your best option. I think we need another map like Hydro where you can't have towers too close to the track. Just one. Like you know, it wouldn't screw with the rest of the tracks at all. It'd just you know be another you know track that would you know allow for unique strategies. Cause you know that's kind of what we need. Ring of fire. Uh. Uh, I, I I really don't enjoy using it, but sometimes it's just impossible to beat it, really. So you have to use it, which is just what I don't like about it. It's it's a forced strategy, pretty much. Also, on another note, I don't know. Uh, there's been a thread on the forums about how you know thoughts about the uh, DDT in battles, which could be pretty freaking fun. Like on round 25, just send a DDT for I don't know, like twelve thousand dollars or something like that. It obviously be nerfed, like, there's no way we can have it at the speed of a pink, that's kind of ridiculous. It'd be really tough to pop, but there are a ton of things that do pop a DDT, so I mean, I feel it could add some strategy, It'd, you know, be fun, and also not every single game would go super late, because Ring of Fire strategy? Well, guess what? It forces late game. <laughs> and look at this, round 35 last round? Yeah, I'm down on lives, and I bet he has a ton of economy, because, you know, like, uh, Ring of Fire stuffs. So, I mean, well, we'll see. We'll see if I can manage to pull off anything, but honestly, things are not looking good for me at all. 813 economy and only a little bit of money. $23,000 right now. Not good. Not good. And now he's bragging about his economy. Thanks, Mo. Uh, 1,100 economy. Great. Maybe if, you know, I had executed better, I would get more. And $10,000 saved up. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, Oh crap. That, that's really all I have to say. I don't know if it's even possible to beat him at this point. 12,000, okay, he's gonna continue saying all the money he has. I could get a Blade Maelstrom. I don't know if you guys see my tax in the back. Oh, look, Monkey Ace. Hmm, I wonder. Well, all right, time to uh, try some stuff. Send in the BFBs, I'm checking camo. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but uh, I know what it means. And I see the monkey ace, I'm like, okay, I can't just get camel yells by that. The monkey ace is going to be strong enough to beat it. However, you know, I do have a color, couple other mortar exploits up, up my sleeve. Let's see if we can get him here. And also I have village, so I'm kind of immune to exploits. I do have a good amount of money saved up, but he's taking forever to pop the BFP. So he's got to have so much. Oh my god, he, he afforded the ground zero. Oh god, this is not good. Don't even send anything. Honestly, just wait for him to activate the ability and send a few more things. Okay, here we go. Now, now we're switching things up. Here's a few more. Here, I'm also going to send some uh, zebras. Oh, no. <laughs> it's another ground zero. Well, look at that. I don't know, remember, remember what I said before, guys? Yeah. That was actually close, though. The loons got kind of far. I'm going to continue to harass them the best I can. I've actually sold one mala. Mauler. I'm gonna sell another pretty shortly. I'm actually gonna defeat this Moab though, because I do not want to just let this uh, Moab survive, you know? Because, uh, look, he's going for the Mortar Stall right now. He just activated the Mortar ability, so I mean, well, uh, crap, but the Mortar is still going. What is he doing? He just popped this down the ceramics, and like so much King 3 bought the Moab. Whoa! 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 It seems he just wasn't able to get that mortar up in time, so somehow we got lucky enough that after being able to beat that a couple times, 
We're on the next map and we're on defend. <laughs> Oops. Mo decided to host this game. Is on and he chose defend. And uh, yeah, so like, okay, let's start it over. And he's like, now we've messed up towers. Oh my god. So guess what? We're, we, we're not, yeah, we restarted not once, but twice. So here we are, guys. Second game, it's the Swamp. The uh, Swamp of uh, iOS, I guess. This map came from iOS, but I don't know how to play it on the computer at all. So for real this time, for real, things are going to be for real. Hopefully. <laughs> it was funny. Somehow he chose the bend. Then actually, what you did not see is that second time we actually went into the game, I went in, you know, in the game, he had his tower selected, he was confirmed already, so he couldn't do anything. I'm like, I, I messaged him, Skype, Mo, the tab, the uh, setting says defend, and then I quit out of it again. So we actually failed three times before a being able to play this, which, uh, find kind of strange. It would have been interesting to see a defend game, that's for sure, but I mean, I guess we just didn't decide not to play it out. I actually would have played out to the defend game if he didn't surrender, but uh, whatever. And also, I mean, wrong towers, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be a nice guy. You know, I'd prefer you guys, you know, I mean, it's not like I'd prefer, but, you know, it's not too bad, you know, if somebody chooses the wrong tower, just, you know, be nice to them, you know, they made a mistake, you know, don't be too o overly rough on them or whatever, just chillax, I guess, I suppose. No farms? None from him either, doesn't look like. Yeah, he's got that, uh... Bomb right there. I'm gonna send a couple of pinks because you know I thought I could get pinks by, but that, that's a terrible idea. The cannon is just gonna cover this whole freaking area. My only hope is to make the cannon whiff, but I don't even think that's gonna happen. Like, look, it's just destroying everything. It's blast radius covers the entire freaking screen. But no, never mind. He he almost lost the life. He he almost did. But whatever. Um, as you can see, my fourth tower is the Boat, um, and not the Monkey Ace again, just because well. You know, I, I thought Magma would be, you know, a bad economy map, but apparently not if he can afford a freaking ground zero um, that easily and also buy another one after selling it. Yeah, I mean, that's how ridiculously overpowered Ring of Fire is. That was a round 20 rush, I want to say. Yeah, round 20, he was able to afford two ground zeros. I mean, I'm sorry, guys, but if that's not overpowered, I don't know what is. Okay, that is just absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so anyways, round 10, maybe first possible round of actions. Neither of us have our tax prayers, so we're possibly weak to black balloons. Because, you know, bombs kind of suck against black balloons. <laughs> Look at Mo, he's gonna, he might leak quite a few. I leaked eight lives myself. Somehow, I, you know, there, there was a couple lives. Oh, there, there, there we go, 126. Can we go for more? Mo lives, Mo money. So one 114 lives, <laughs> even with this little two tax shooter setup. I guess he bought another one out of uh, des desperation or whatever. But um, yeah, okay. What was going with? I thought volcano would be you know a map where it's hard to get economy, so boats would be the nice option. I guess not. But now I think this one is just because balloons aren't gonna make it too far because you have a freaking cannon up in front or whatever. I feel that'll be the best option. But now he's going for like some uh, layering right here. He's got some blacks and yellows. Um, well, I leaked a couple lives from before, but not so much now. Okay. Cool beans, cool beans. I don't think he'll, you know, get by enough to kill me, though, so I guess that's good. But this time, I think boats might be the better solution. One, because you'll actually be able to fit more boats here, like in the uh, Mount Mag the Magma one or whatever. There was just one little pond. And I don't know why there's a pond on an active volcano. Can anybody explain that to me? Like, it could be a pond, it could be a pool, like we got some rich billionaires, or poor billionaires, <laughs> because that makes sense, um, on that mountain, they're like, oh, let's build a freaking swimming pool on this active volcano, and the other guy's like, yeah, 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 just need another beer, hold on. Also, I'm kind of screwing myself over here with that regrow lead right there, uh, that was kind of annoying, it leaked a few more lives, but he st I still have more than him, which is good. So, I mean, if it goes to round 35 somehow, I don't think that's going to happen, though. If it happens somehow, I would end up winning because I have more lives, but, I mean, you'll have to see. We'll, we'll have to see. And also, I guess, looks like it's drawn for a couple camos. Doesn't look like it. But now, I'm able to buy the Ring of Fire, of course, you know? I mean, what else would you use on the map you don't know how to play? I guess I should mention, I have no idea what I'm doing here, either. 
But what I like to do sometimes is not buy the Ring of Fire right way. So, <laughs> see that, see, he wasted some money on some regrows right there. I mean, even if it was to try to get me to build the Ring of Fire, he still wasted money, which is good. You definitely want to make your opponents lose as much money as possible. So, of course, the normal tax prayers, yada, yada, yada. Oh, boy. Well, I hope we don't have to say see, say bleh, see the same strategy for all three maps. But, I mean, I guess late game can get relatively interesting. You know, especially with the uh, speed boost of the ZOMGs. That's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, ceramics? Uh, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, not, not even a chance. I tried, but then again, I did waste some money. Now I gotta get some economy, but... You know, again, it's probably crap, just because I don't know what I'm doing. I wouldn't be surprised if Moe's practiced on this map before. Money West, yeah. Also, it slows down a little bit when I type. I gotta figure out what's causing that. I'll, I'll find it out eventually. Yeah, well. So be it. But anyways, of course, round 18 coming up. We gotta get the most... Oh, and it looks like he tried for a camel ceramic. He, he, voice crack right there. He was gonna go for a mortar exploit. I, I could tell, like, you know, we're both going mortars here. Um, you know, if the ceramic gets too far and we won't be able to, you know, pop it completely, you know, I'm kind of screwed. You know, I mean, the one issue going mortars is obviously, you know, just basic mortar exploits. Will I actually be able to get a successful one off on him, though? They can be difficult, especially since I wouldn't be surprised if he can get a 2-4 mortar super duper easily. But, uh... Yeah. So anyways, of course, a couple maulers and stuff, tax sprayers, all that good normal jazz, I suppose. Let's, uh, well, let's see if anything happens uh, this uh, round 20, because that's when things happen. Even though, you know, I have more lives than him, we're not going to late game either way. So I'm not quite sure if I want to wait for him to rush or if I'm going to rush. I'm not quite sure. I'm sitting there with that regrow button checked. I'm like... I'm either sitting like, D like ready for some kind of, uh, well, like just <laughs> some kind of dick move, or if I'm gonna wait for him. I, I, I should forget, to be completely honest. Also, getting a little tax in the back there for an emergency blade maelstrom, because you know you're gonna need it. You know you're gonna need it. So, anyways, <laughs> it looks like I'm sending out the regrow BFB. Alright. Here we go, aggression. Also, don't you just love that entrance? That's just so freaking amazing. Also, he's getting a ninja monkey. Whoa, 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 ninjas. I did not expect that. Look at that. Everything's so freaking slow right now. He actually had to sell the mall for I'm surprised he couldn't afford that. But now I'm going to try for some regrow yells. That sadly didn't work. Uh, bad timing on my part. Now he's going for Blade Maelstrom. Kind of late. Oh, but he shredded that pretty much. However, there's still a bunch of regrow balloons there. I don't know. They just keep re regrowing too many zebras. Nah. What happened is that his uh, on his screen he activated the maelstrom just a bit sooner, so nothing got by. So uh, again, I'm gonna keep trying. I already screwed up my eco. You know, I <laughs> at this point, you know, I'm gonna have to do what I can. Also, round 23, natural mode come. Maybe you know that can hurt him overall. I could try for mortar exploit now, but I have like no money. So anyways, there's the more I popped on my side. Gotta sell those mollers because a lot of balloons are getting by. Let's get a maelstrom real quick and activate it. Or not. Um, holy cow. So apparently, there was so many pinks and yellows there, and all that just got by. Damn it. <laughs> so he got me there. 1-1. One, one. Looks like I'm picking Temple. But that that's actually a first. When have you seen Blade Maelstrom fail a person? I guess, you know, it does require decent timing, but... I screwed up pretty big time. So you know what? We're going with Temple. And on this map, it, I'm sad to say that this map is becoming yet another late game map. Uh, yeah, <laughs> another Ring of Fire Ground Zero map. How fun, huh? But I mean, nevertheless, late game on this map is pretty interesting just because, you know, you can force an end at maybe round 34, 38 or something. Cause the ZOMGs are going to be so fast, so much health, even if you do spam Bomb Towers and Ground Zero, you won't be able to defeat, like, a, you know, 7 ZOMG rush, just because the map is so short. So, there's some, some potential for action here. You never know. And I guess it's also a matter of who keeps No Lives Lost, or who leaks, like, half a life, or something like that. I don't know how you can leak half a life, but, you know, it's going to happen eventually. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, with all the hackers out there, they hack their lives to, say, 149 and a half. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny to see, but at the same time, 
you'd just be staring at like, why? Why? Why would you do such a thing? Also, forced voice crack right there, whatever. So anyways, bit of downtime, I guess. Not going to do any more rants about the Ring of Fire or whatever. Honestly, all I think that should happen, one of two things. One, Ring of Fire's speed would be slowed down just a bit, like, you know, probably how it was before the buff, because guess what? I used the Ring of Fire's before they got buffed. Like, if uh, you look back to old King of Hill series between me and the Prime 1-9, I used the Ring of Fire's before they were uber strong, and they were still decent back then. Like, two of them would defeat a Regro Ember Rush. Um, they'd still be good against Regro Ceramic Remains. They'd still be good against Moab Remains and all that stuff. But you might have to get a little bit more in round 8, which is perfectly fine. I mean, you know, it's hard to afford. You know, I mean, it's easy to afford all that. You shouldn't, it shouldn't be easy to afford. Whatever's, anyways, Mo just lost a life. What, 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 what? Wasn't I supposed to go off on a tangent now? Yeah, I think I was. Whoops, my bad. Anyways, tangent time with Tyler. That's, uh, that, that can be a thing. Yeah, I mean, it starts with T's. Why don't we just make it a thing? Tangent time with Tyler. But, um, kind of wondering, or any of you guys in, um, well, something I've been doing throughout high school. How the hell do I start this? Um, yeah, okay. Through, um, since freshman year in high school, I've been, uh, participating in, uh, robotics, basically. You know, just first robots, and, you know, I've had damn good time with that and stuff. And, you know, that, that might be, uh, taking up, up time. Oh, God, and there goes a balloon. I'm not even doing anything about it. Like, I could have bought a bomb or something to save myself. Lol, nope. Yeah, I probably should have tried to save myself. Because that one life, now we're tied again. <laughs> uh, I find this funny. But, uh, anyways, you know, I've been in, uh, first robotics and stuff. I found that pretty fun. You know, I've just been working with the team at my high school or whatever. And, um... Well, I can't give out too much information. Wondering if any of you guys are in the first robotics. I do know one person is. For now, and the, there's probably more out there. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I do have average amounts of high school viewers. I don't know, though. The funny thing is, I don't know how... Hmm. Oh, I kind of know how old the average amount of viewers are. But I don't know who's all lying. Because here's the thing. When I go to, like, the uh, analytics of YouTube... You know, you can't have an analyze with or analysis without anal, but uh, I go to those, and uh, the majority of my viewers are like 45 to like 50 something or something like that. And part of me says like pedophile, and the other part of me says, oh no, it's just you know kids lying about their age so they get accounts on YouTube, which is probably the case. But I mean, anyways, back to first or whatever. So we recently had, re recently had our uh, kickoff lately, and for those who don't know what it is. Basically, what's going to be going on in like the next six weeks of my life, basically, is that I'm going to be built, or me and like a bunch of others are going to be building a robot uh, to compete in this uh, three-on-three robot competitions. And in previous years, we've done things that are easier to explain, like uh, basketball and frisbee. Like we've made our robots basically play ultimate frisbee. It, it was pretty badass. But uh, this year, we're working with like two-foot diameter medicine balls, and we're chucking them into large targets. This should be this should be fun, and also it I guess like robots playing catch as well basically. Yeah, I'm trying to explain this in things that'll make sense. The robot will pet, take the giant medicine ball and it'll throw it to another robot, which is supposed to catch it. Although I don't trust that uh, the other robots are actually going to catch it, because you know I mean sometimes there's bad teams out there. But if you're curious as to what'll be happening for like the next six weeks of my life, it'll be that. And generally during robotic season videos are slightly slow sadly slightly slow sadly and also because i have a mortar a certain mo is gonna want to send camo pinks luckily i can just relocate it though because i mean yay camo pinks or yay mortar relocation camo pinks won't do uh, anything to us and look at all that economy though beautiful beautiful economy <laughs> so um yeah there's that i don't know it's fun stuff though uh specifically i'm working with the uh, programming of the robot I like learning tech codes, I guess. Uh, just sitting on a computer because uh, that's my thing. And sometimes coding and sometimes coding. <coughs> mm. <coughs> nah, I, by the way, I'm doing air quotes again. Also, more camo paints. Oh, that scared me. I actually had to do a really quick retargeting of the uh, mortar right there. I got lost a couple more lives there, and that would have screwed me over. Because if Mo had more lives than me, 
and we go in late game, which we probably will, because guess what? We're both going with the Ring of Fire strategy. You know, uh, gonna be kind of screwed. And to be honest, I don't exactly like the round 35 limits of this tournament. I think the round 38 limits in King of the Hill is a lot better, just because I actually trust that, you know, that it's possible to defeat someone on a temple in late game on round 37 than on round 34. Round 34, I don't think it's enough, to be honest. So, I mean, it's still gonna be a battle of only the lives, sadly. But, uh, yep, we're at 149. We're both safe against ceramics, apparently. But we have different ceramic popping methods. I got my monkeys here. And most try and go for some tricky attack with, like, regrow leads than regrow ceramics. Nope. Guess it didn't work. So, yeah, I actually really do like my, uh, D right now. It's, uh, it's very stiff, I guess. Well, it's solid. It's a solid D. I mean, we got the freaking ace, and then we have the freaking, uh, textures <laughs> easy no lives lost yeah that one life lost though St talking about his economy but i'm actually trying to s i was trying to save up myself because sometimes i like uh going for a specter on round 18 but realizing you know that's not as important as you probably just want to get the specter on round 20 instead you know that allows you to get be a bit more economical because <laughs> i had like seven thousand dollars saved up and i could have gotten a specter on round 18 real easy but i'm like yeah, I changed my mind real quickly, but that also means I have to get tax prayers. I have to. And in case you guys didn't notice, I'm not quite sure if you did notice, but this video is most likely 480p, most likely, just because the games are playing low quality. This time, I actually decided to choose low quality just because it's more trustworthy for actually placing more towers. It's not because I want you guys to see the screen mat, but it's because I actually want to play the game to the best of my ability. <laughs> Tried to mow up there? <sighs> nope. Sadly, nope. I mean, there's nothing I can really do against the Mo. We're just both sitting there. You know, we might even go for a stalemate. I mean, that's perfectly possible. Because he'll be able to afford a ground zero so easily next round. But at the same time, I would be able to as well. Although, again, I kind of prefer the, the Spectre. Oh, look, there's his ace. Yep, we're going aces on uh, Temple. And look at this. Okay, so I can afford a Spectre right now. But I'm not getting it. Does Mo think I'm short on money? <laughs> he sure does. Holy crap, he just sent a bunch of fast cooldown camo ceramics. That was like $5,000 worth. You know, that's kind of uh, an, an issue. You know, I, I make him waste money. That's part of the strategy. Now it could be a good time to counter rush, but you know what? I just don't have the uh, monies to do so. I mean, I could try, but no, I, I'm, I'm just not going to and i'll just wait it out see if i can like maybe be in the late game because you know if this goes late game yeah i'm gonna rush him it's kind of worth the shot both of us are really unsure what to do though i'm getting my uh, operation door storm right now because guess what ground zeros not too far off what if he attacks me though kind of doubt it i mean he's sitting there with that ace and all that dead ace but i will say the most intense game i have had on temple ever was up against like uh well, it's a pretty good player, and he, he was going farm stuff, and he sent out a ZMG, like, right away on round 22. And right when that happened, like, oh crap, this is going to be kind of scary, because, like, this is the earliest chance I get to, you know, face the ZMG. Will my Spectre, Moa Mauler, Ground Zero army be able to cause, handle it? Because I had a Spectre, not a Ground Zero, and a couple Maulers. I only had two, though, because I wasn't too good with the economy back then. This was actually one of the games I used to test out the uh, efficiency of my uh, laptop. But, um, anyways, you know, so he sent out the ZMG, and somehow I managed to beat it. I actually had to sell the Maulers from the top of the screen where you see them to down at the bottom to where the Ring of Fires were in order to pop that ZMG. I barely got down to Maulers as I reached the end, and I ground zero. It was crazy. All that was done on a trackpad, too, so I just, I'm so proud. But, um, you know, I can afford a ground zero, you know, whenever I can. You know, I'll just need to sell that Spectre. But he, before he said, how strong is a Spectre? So, I mean, is he going to try to overwhelm it? He is. Oh, my God. Okay. Th that, that is a BFB right there. Is it just one, though? That looks like more than one BFB. This is a freaking massive BFB rush. Look at all those mobs. I have to sell that. Have to get it. It's all down ceramics, and it's kaplooied. But now, here's the thing. He can still send a rush. I'm not completely safe yet. I had to get a Spectre back. Safe now. But is this going to be the end? He still has a Moab on his side. I mean, he's barely holding off this stuff. Here comes another ZOMG. 
Uh, or no, not a ZOMG, a BFB. A ZOMG would probably give me a bit more uh, trouble, though. However, it looks like it's just one BFB and also a couple of mobs back. I'm also buying a uh, Blade Maelstrom just in case. But no, if it's a single BFB, I'm going to be able to handle that with my Spectre. And uh-oh, someone's in trouble. Good game. Good game indeed. So that was the Temple game. All three of, the game, th three of these games... Pretty darn exciting, if I do say this for myself. I hope you didn't mind the little bloopers in the middle, too. I just thought it was funny how we got undefended and all that, whatever. But, yeah. So, uh, thanks all you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tournament games. Sure to uh, like if you enjoyed, comments, whatever. You know, I appreciate support and all that. Let me know if I can make any improvements or whatever. But more tournament games should be coming in the future. Just not completely sure when. I actually have not played anymore yet. But I am 2-1 right now, so I'm not like completely in the clear. I hope to move on to the next round. That'd be nice. But I don't know for sure. So, I guess I'll be uh, seeing you all next time with the next video. Peace out.